Greetings everybody. Before we walk through some examples of how to do stuff in the framework, I want you to focus on your two learning goals. These are two things I want you to be able to do by yourself without videos. The first is I want you to know how to ask my object for information. Notice here on line 5 I'm creating an object called player. What kind of thing is player? Well you see here it's a thing. If I had typed int player it would be an int. If I had typed string player, player would be a string. Because I've typed thing, I've said player is a specific kind of object called a thing object. Here on line 10, I'm creating the thing object and saving it inside my player variable. So how can I ask my player variable things? You can ask it lots of things about its position on the screen, about where it's moving or how fast it's moving, about whether or not it's hitting other things or whether or not it's off the screen. Here's what these look like. Notice you've got the same pattern every time here. I have player dot something, player dot something, player dot something. In each one of these lines, I'm asking the player for some information. So here I'm asking the player, what's the distance from yourself to the point 300, 500? And then I have to save that information somewhere. So this line that asks for the distance is on the right hand side of an equals sign because you know that anything on the right hand side of an equals sign gets saved into the variable on the left. So here I'm saving the distance into a variable called distance. Here I'm asking the player, what direction do you have to go in in order to get to the point 300, 500? So it's like an angle. And I'm saving that information inside a variable called angle. Here I'm asking the player for their x coordinate, and I'm saving it into x. Here I ask for x speed, and I'm saving it into x speed. Here I'm asking if the player is off the screen, and I save it into a Boolean variable called off screen. Here I'm asking it if it's hitting the point 300, 300, and I'm saving that into another Boolean. So these are only a couple of the things that you can ask. You can see a full list by typing player dot and then waiting, and then you can scroll down and see a whole list of different things you can do. If you want to, you could type player dot and start typing the word get, and with the arrow keys move up and down. So you see I can get the x, y of the center, I can get the height of the object, I can get the angle that it's moving in. But remember, no matter what it is that you ask, you need to save the answer into a variable. So that's the first thing that you need to know. How to ask the object for information and save it into a variable. The second thing you need to know is how to tell the object to do something. As you can see here, I'm already telling the player to do two things. I'm telling the player to move itself, and I'm telling the player to draw itself. Here are some random examples of things that you can tell the player to do. You can set the player to have a random position. These variables are not defined, but I wanted to leave them there because they describe what those inputs are supposed to be. So you tell it a minimum x and a maximum x, a minimum y and a maximum y, and it'll set the player's position to be somewhere inside that box. You could set the player's velocity to a particular direction and a particular speed. This direction is set in degrees, just like in math class. So sending it straight to the right would be an angle of 0, sending it up would be an angle of 90, sending it left would be an angle of 180, and so on. You could tell the player to turn by a particular angle. You can set the player's x speed. You could set the player to start moving in a randomly chosen direction. You could set the player to start moving in a random speed in whatever direction they happen to be going in, and the speed is going to be chosen randomly between a minimum and a maximum value. So these are just a couple of the examples that you can do. Others you can get by typing the list. So I could say player dot reverse x speed. That's another option. And there's lots more. A final word of advice. Don't just copy what you see on the screen. Watch the video for a short time, and then try to retype the code that you saw me do without looking at it yourself. This is a way to ensure that you're actually learning. If you just type what you see, you probably won't remember it later, and you might not even understand what it's doing. If you can retype it yourself without looking, odds are a lot better that you'll be able to do it. It's worth it to take the time. Even if it takes you a couple of tries and you've got to check back with the video, you should do it because you're going to learn, and that's the whole point. You want to be able to make your own projects, not just follow my instructions. Good luck, everyone.